Okay, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to discuss traffic exchanges. Um, first off, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you want to get this list, then you just go to yourwebbase.com. You can see that it's up in the address bar. Um, and just sign up for free and log in. And you'll see this on the very first page when you log in or by clicking on my account. So, and it's at the bottom of the page, as you can see, you're going to need, um, <clears throat> you're going to um, <clears throat> go right here under amount, under amount terms. Um, this is a free program, so there is no amount of terms, you just do not charge anything. Okay, so um, these first few programs I went in through in the previous video, they are not traffic exchanges. They're just free programs that um, that you can make money with. Um, so these are the traffic exchanges. And so I'm going to explain to you what traffic exchanges are and how they work. It's a free way to advertise online. They were the original form of advertising before Ad, AdWords and all the Google advertising, Facebook advertising. This was the original form of advertising. Um, and it still works today um, for business, for any kind of business that you're trying to promote, it works better than anything. <clears throat> um, and you want to make sure that when you use anything online, if you've got antivirus, you can get free um, uh, antivirus by looking up AVG, Alpha Victor golf um, on Google and you can download it for free so if you get a virus it will go ahead and take care of it for you so um, <clears throat> so basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on not register yet and I'm just going to pick one of these um, this one right here and click on that and you're going to register, and when you register, um, it'll ge they generally all say sign up, okay? So um, you're going to click sign up. I'm not going to click sign up because I've obviously already signed up. So you're going to click sign up. You're going to fill out the form. They're going to send you an email. You're going to click the email, um, <clears throat> and you're going to... Um, uh, then you can log in. Okay, you can click the an email. This one right here, as you can see, um, this is showing the pages that are being viewed today. Um, let's see if we can get to the next one. This is how many members that they have, and this is how many members that have joined in the last 30 days. So, who are these people? These are people that are that market online, <clears throat> which is a target audience for you. The biggest reason that they're a target, target audience for you is because they're people that work. Um, anybody can sign up in a business, um, especially a free business, um, but they're worthless if they don't do anything. So you want people that work. So you can advertise on Facebook, you can buy Google AdWords, you can do all that other stuff, but you're going to end up with a whole bunch of people that will never do anything. And that's kind of demoralizing. So um, the very best way to advertise is through traffic exchanges, but you need to know how to do it. Most people who use traffic exchanges do it wrong. So um, I'm going to show you the correct way to do it, and it's a very effective way to do it. It's a way, especially with the other programs that I showed you at the top of the page, since they're all free, it's truly a way that any person can change their life because you're not spending any money. You're spending your time. And that means there are no obstacles to your success. As long as you've got access to the Internet, um, you can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and log into this one. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm not a robot. 
sometimes pictures will pop up and you have to check them, but not always. Um, and then hit enter. You can um, sign up with Facebook or Google, but I don't do that because I don't want to tie something else to something else in case that something else happens to go out of business and that messes up your whole everything else. So I always use my email address, but anyway, so hit enter. So, in here, what you're looking for when you very, very first sign up is you're looking for your referral link, okay? Um, now, for this particular purpose, we clicked on this one here, and it says username. So, once you've signed up, you already know your username, okay? So, you can just put it in here. You don't need to go find your link. You shouldn't be promoting any of these programs on their own um, because you're wasting advertising that way. If you can advertise a program like this that has, you know, all these traffic exchanges in there, and someone signs up, then you're going to get a sign up in each and every one of them. Where if you promote each of these individually, you're going to get a sign up in one. And let's say somebody uses traffic exchanges. Um, and you're advertising and they see your ad, um, but they're already in that one. So you just waste wasted that advertising. So that's why you want to have a system like this. Because it just saves you a lot of work. It saves you a lot of time. And if you were paying for the advertising, it would save you a lot of money. But you can choose to do that. You can pay for advertising if you don't want to serve. Um, <clears throat> or you can pay to have a better ratio. But um, if you do need to find your link, then what you're going to look for generally is referrals. I don't know why it doesn't have links, but nearly all of them say referrals. Um, so when I click on referrals, you can just see that. I'll see, you'll see what I'm saying. Okay. So if I go down here, see my referral. And that's generally where you'll always find it. So now that you've signed up, so you're going to go back to the program. You're going to put the ID in, the username in here. You're going to scroll to the bottom and hit update. Okay. You're not going to put anything in any of these boxes unless you have actually joined that program. You do not put your ID for you know, web base and all of them. Those are things that, that people do. Um, and you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to just put anything in there. Because when you do that, you mess up the back office of your, of your personal referrals. Because when you put something in this box, that means anybody that you have referred or anybody that you refer in the future is going to see that. So if you put the wrong information in here, it's going to, they're going to sign up in that company without a sponsor, which means no help. So just be careful when you do that. Now it isn't going to change. For example, if I scroll over this, if you look in the bottom um, right hand corner, it says, it shows you where it's going. Once you put your username in there, that is not, that username is not going to change. Because this is always going to show your sponsors. It, sh it changes in the back office of, of your referrals. And if you don't feel confident, if you're one of those really untrusting people, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't be untrusting these days, you can always go sign up under your own your web-based link. And with another account, just go sign up under it and log in the back office and scroll over it and you'll see that it is actually your your link that way you don't need to take my word for it okay so back to this so the next now that you've done that the next thing you need to do is you need to find your websites so and you have to look around because it's always each website is different these are all different companies um so let's see maybe it's under account Okay, so 
I don't recommend that you use a rotator either. If, even if you have a business that you want to promote, you're best off promoting a free program because it's it because people will join a free program. And once they join a free program, then you have their contact information. You can send them stuff about other things, and they're more willing to listen to you because now you are their upline. You're upline. You're not you're not a stranger to them. So they're more likely to listen to you. So let's see, start pages. Maybe start pages. Generally it says website, your website. Start pages. No, I think that was wrong. Banners, tech tabs, tools. Looks like I did not pick a good one. Oh there it is. I'm just wrong. <laughs> okay. So here you're going to put your websites in. So let's see, you would click add a new website. And let me get a website so I can show you. So you're going to put your website in there, and if it's Advertopia, I mean, sorry, if it's your web base, if this is what you're promoting, then you just get one of these. Okay, <clears throat> like the reason that you're that, that it's better, you, another reason it's better to use a free program is because it takes far less traffic to a free website to get a sign up than it does a paid website. Um, so it's just being more productive. Okay, so we're going to go back to this. So we're going to put the link in. <clears throat> and title, since I've put it in other before. It's there, the site's in English. 24 hour unit traffic. Select it if you want advanced settings, and I, I don't bother with any of that stuff, but you can. Um, and then submit website. Now, some of them, okay, status is on, so this one doesn't need to be approved. Some of them need to be approved. Um, some of them use an approval process, so like after I added that in there it would go in and um, do like a page check and it would say it's, it's checking it and then okay your site is passed and click to, to go back. So then once once your site is showing as on or active then you would assign credits to it if you have credits. If you don't you'll have to wait. I happen to have credits, as you can see up in the top, I've got 23,894 credits, so I'm going to assign and this number will go down until there aren't any. So, um, okay. So, as I mentioned in the last video, most people suffer from cyberphobia. So, looking at this, this is going to be very overwhelming. Signing up for a whole bunch of programs at one time is going to be very overwhelming. It's going to cause you to panic. panic. Um, it's going to cause you to feel stressed out. So, when you feel that way, which as I said is perfectly normal, um, cyberphobia is an irrational fear of computers and the internet and the fear that you're going to break something or do something wrong. It's not like a car. If you don't know how to drive a car, you're probably going to crash. It isn't like a car you... It, it's so hard to mess up a computer or the internet. You actually have to put a lot of effort into it. So um, don't worry about that. And like I said, if you get overwhelmed, then take a break and come back later. What I recommend that you do is you sign up for 10 of them, okay? And once you sign up for 10 of them, come back the next day or a couple of days later and add a few more until you have them all, okay? Why is it important that you're in all of them? 
because as you can see this one the one where I had 23,000 uh, credits I don't serve um, anymore I don't have to why because a long 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 time ago I built a downline in my traffic exchanges so because they serve and I earn a percentage of, of their traffic then I no longer need to serve so that's why it's important to put your address your your IDs in here um, because if you don't then you're just losing advertising so now we're going to go back to the traffic exchange and here it gives us an option of a 15 second timer and a 20 second timer um, I would always go to the shortest timer if you're given an option they don't always give you an option so I'm going to show you how the traffic exchange works basically what you're doing is you're earning views of your website by looking at other people's websites okay so um, so I think it said this is a two to one ratio or one to one for that two to one ratio one to one ratio so actually I was wrong you go with the 20 second timer in this case so for every one that you look at you get another person looking at yours okay so and like I said you can also buy it if you don't want to do this but this is something as I said that everyone can do so you're waiting for this timer to expire and <clears throat> once it does I'm guessing this first image so you got to match the image yes so and then it's going to change now if you're one of those people that is attracted to every shiny thing and you believe that you can get rich doing nothing I recommend that you not only not use traffic exchanges but that you just get off the internet because you're going to be scammed so badly <laughs> it's not even funny okay um, you need to be you need to have your wits about you and not like I said because the internet is full, just like television, full of get rich scheme, lies, and scams. So, um, and this is no different. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's basically how this one works. Um, now, what I want to show you is so. Once you've signed up for this, another thing you're going to do, and, and I'm using Firefox, I don't use Chrome, so if you use Chrome, you're going to have to figure out how to do the rest of what I'm about to tell you on your own, because I don't use Chrome. Um, I, don't, I don't like Chrome, so I don't use it. Um, so this is Firefox. So once I've opened this site, once I've come here, I'm going to click this star, okay, and... I'm going to put it in a folder, which I already have a folder called Traffic Exchanges. Done. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you. So now that you have it in there, you want to be able to, yeah. So you're going to go over here to the little, I know that my mouse doesn't line up with what I'm pointing, in the video doesn't point line up with what I'm pointing at. So it's like this little stack of books is what you're going to go to. And then you're going to go to bookmarks. And then you're going to go to the bookmark in here. Oh, that's not it. I apologize. It's this one here. Uh, da, 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 da. Show all bookmarks. Bookmark tools. No. Okay. <clears throat> And then I'll go down to traffic exchanges. And then that's going to be all the traffic exchanges that I have in there. And then if I click on this, they always change the way the browser works. 
Oh, that's the wrong one. You just write that down. Um, and then open all in tabs. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put your traffic exchanges in folders by clicking the star, selecting a folder. Now, my my computer will run as, and my internet service will run as many as I, as I, as I have. Okay but not everybody's will so you want to put as many as many traffic exchanges like i've got probably over 100 tabs open right now and i can launch this folder and it'll still launch which is there's probably 25 or, or so in there but you want to put as many in the folder as your computer will run without crashing okay so you need to figure out how many that is <clears throat> um because it makes it easier. So, for example, if my, mine would only run seven traffic exchanges, then having a folder and being able to launch all tabs that opens 25 would do me no good. It would cause my computer to crash. Um, so I would create a bunch of folders that had seven in them, and then I could just launch each folder individually. So I would use one folder, then I would close them all and open another folder. So, um, so I'm going to click this, open all, all in tabs, and you can see it's 28. So I'm going to close that. So as you can see, and since I'm already logged in on the other browser, and I don't want it getting it set up, I'm just going to start with my word, this one. But, um, so now I'm going to have to log in for these if I haven't been logged out. So, yeah, I've got over a million credits in this one. <laughs> so, um, uh, so what we're looking for is, um, text ads. So then, let's see, click here to start searching text ads. And, okay. Sorry, I didn't know that was going to have sound. I hope that didn't bust your eardrums like it did mine. Um, so that's, that one for a And I'm going to log into this one. I'm going to demonstrate how exactly you use traffic exchanges. So, um, put the ad bar on the website, dashboard account, websites, speed things up a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to use this one. Um, you can look through and find out how to find it, but I don't want this video to be forever while I try to remember how to use each different one. So, um, I'll be number this one is an ID number. I don't have my own signature. So I just want to try to use I have it. I just want to show you what I want to do. Now, a lot of people will surf one traffic exchange at a time. And I'm going to tell you that's a complete and utter waste of time. It's not an utter waste of time. It will just take you forever. Um, in fact, there are a few traffic exchanges that will not let you leave their page, and I recommend that you don't use them. 
Um, I don't care how popular they are because you're you're just wasting too much of your own time. Um, and this one here, membership profile, start surfing. And this one, surf. And this one. I'm just trying to give you an exam. I'm just trying to get a few open so that you can see how you serve effectively and what type of site that you that you need to use for it to be effective. So, regions, massive traffic Sometimes they log you on, sometimes they don't. They really, any good program, at least most of them log you out, and they really shouldn't because they lose a lot of traffic that way. Because a lot of people are busy doing other things, and if they get distracted, then they get logged out, and I'm just like, heck, I'll do it. Um, I'll do it later. And so, but if they stayed logged in, then they could just go in there and surf when in between doing stuff. A lot of times they'll have ads that look like these that scroll to the bottom where they're offering deals and they're, and they're advertising. So start surfing. Okay, so I have enough open to demonstrate for you what I'm talking about. So the first thing that we want to talk about is um, the type of page that you can use. This page has too much information on it. And no one's going to stop and read it. Okay. Um, in fact, no one's going to stop and read anything until you pique their curiosity. The human brain has um, the ability to basically take it basically takes a screenshot of everything that it sees. Okay. That's why you can hypnotize somebody who doesn't remember something, and you you can find out what they don't remember because it's in their brain. And if it's a if it's a small amount of information, then that their brain will process that information even while they're doing something else. So if they keep seeing that, okay, if they keep seeing that, they're going to be more enticed to. Um, it's going to trigger their natural curiosity, and then they'll stop and look at it. Like, hey, I keep seeing this. What is this? Okay. Now, one thing that you should understand is advertising won't make you buy something you wouldn't already buy. Okay, um, so don't <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, it what advertising does, why it needs to be repeated over and over again, is because we're all over inundated with information, and even if we're just walking down the street, even if we're like in a mall shopping. We're just not going to see things um, if we're just exposed to it in one time, generally. Okay, even if that, even if it's what we're looking for, oftentimes it's hard to to um, to find. So um, so keep that in mind. So you don't want a page like this. You want something that looks like a billboard. Okay, um, and so this is too much information. It's better than the whole entire site, but it's still just too much information because nobody's going to read this. 
Now, if it was just this information right here and this information was catchy, then that would be good. What you're trying to do is grab their attention so that they click more, and hopefully in this demonstration I'll come across some that are good examples. So in this particular thing, to go to the next one, I need to click the matching picture to that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the first one, and let's see, what do I need to do on this one? Okay, pick the next text stat. So the way this one works is you just pick, it, pick a text stat. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, and you can turn all of these. See how I clicked on that? And it, it, it'll show you which one's making sound. You just click on it and that'll silence it. So what you can do is like listen to a book on tape or something like that or a video or something like this while you're doing it so that you're killing two birds with one stone. I, rec I definitely recommend that. You can get Rich Dad, A Poor Dad, which is a great audio book on YouTube for, it doesn't cost anything. Okay, so we've done that, and um, you're waiting on, now, because I have so many tabs open, I'm pushing the limits of my, my computer, because as I said, I just opened, eight, opened 28 tabs, and I probably already have 100 open. So that's going to slow this, slow down my computer, it's slowing the loading of it. So in this one here, what we're looking for is um, to match the number. So match the number. And this one here. And then this one, and close that. That's the back office. I just want the surfing block. So here I'm looking for whatever matches. So you just pick one of them. So that's all I'm doing. And you notice how I'm not taking any time to stop and look at the page because I don't need to. And people don't need to stop and look at your page either. Okay? Because it's not how advertising works. So here, now if I was going to surf, I would not have a hundred other things. Okay. So so, um, oh, okay, it's a really short timer. That's why I thought it wasn't moving. See, this one has just like a five-second timer. This is way too much information, okay? It's, it's complete and utter waste of time. No one's going to stop and look at this page. Sorry to whoever owns it. Um, so I'm going to click that one, and I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to click on the, the date. Let's see, I should have clicked it in. See, this is a good billboard, okay? There's enough, there's um, information, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm talking about the amount of information. Um, I don't think what it says is, is good, okay? Because you need something to catch, capture the person's attention. Make them curious, even if it's if you're just talking about the subconscious mind. How often do you use the internet all the time, right? Do search engines ever pay you to search? This is just not something that would catch a lot of people's attention. Sorry to whoever made it. Um, okay, so. Okay, where's that one coming from? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, it's really weird because this is not showing. Okay, so I'm going to close this one because I'm just going to deal with it. Okay, so we click the matching symbol, and we go to the next one. We click the matching symbol. 
to go to the next one. I'm not logging to that because I'm not going to close it. Matching symbol. Next one. And I'm not. I'm just going to close this too. Okay? This is just to give you an idea. So what I'm doing when I, so now this one's ready for me to click. I go to the next one. 43. Match. Now you might think, how can this possibly work? Because no one's looking, right? But that's how quick your mind can pick stuff up. Okay? Um, you, you could stare at a page for an hour if it isn't something that, it, like for example, um, let me grab an example. Um, if you don't play golf, you could stare at a golf ad for an hour. It's not going to do anything because you don't play golf. Okay. So, um, this again, this is also not a good page. This is actually from the, yeah, it's just, you're just not going to get people to do that. So click next. This is a good one. Have you ever had a million dollar idea, but it never panned out? Okay. So that might draw, if you keep seeing, especially if you keep seeing it over and over again. Because you're like, well, there's got to be something to this um, because I keep seeing this ad. And I'm curious about, yeah, I have had a million dollar idea. With that, that type of thing. Okay. So, again, you're just going to find the matching signal. That's a good layout. It's a good banner. So you start to see how um, this is actually enough information for your for your brain to capture it. Um, so those are the types of pages that you use. Now you want to look. People will look at the page. They'll actually focus on it for for like a second. Um, and the reason is because like. This see this right here. It says I just won ten credits, so I need to find those and click on it. Sometimes it's a test, and that's what they're doing. They just want to see that you're paying. Um, see this one here. I got a prize. It just reached one of our random bonus pages. So what's my prize? So people will actually stop and look at, and that's why they give away these prize. It makes them do it. So I won fifteen text cards. So now I can go next. So I'm just doing this, go to the next one. So now if I don't look at it that time, I will look at it when I come back. So here's another one that would, you know, pique your curiosity, especially if you're a man. This is, again, this is enough information. As long as what the information says is good, then it'll work. If it just says nothing, here we go again, where's the sound? Let me see if it's just. Apologize. Hold on, I bet it's coming from this. Nope. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so if you okay, let, let's go to one that isn't making sound. If you right click on it, mute the tab. So that's probably something. Well, that's what I should have done when I started this. Once you open them all, go to each one and just hit mute, mute, mute tab by right clicking on it, and then you won't have to worry about that. So. Okay, so um, so that's what you do. So I'm going to just run through this real quick one more time, okay? Um, so I'm going to select, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. Go to the next one. 
Now, I'm going to look at this one instead of that one. See, the timer's up. It's already ready for me to click again. Do you get the point? So, you want to, um, you want to not be waiting on the timer. But let's say you were just surfing one, then you're going to get, you're going to view um, four, a maximum, a maximum of four websites per minute, okay? Four websites per minute. If it's a two to one ratio, meaning you have to look at two to get one of your C, then that means that for every minute, your website's only being seen once. But if you have, say, 15 of them open, okay, then that means you're earning credits every second. So you would be earning, um, instead of earning two views, okay, for every minute you would be earning 30 views. You see the difference? That's why you don't, um, you don't surf a single traffic exchange at a time. Okay, the other thing that's really, so that's one of the things that people do wrong, okay? The other thing that you need to, um, need to be aware of is why 28? Because obviously I can't, it, it, there, it's really not really effective for me to do more than 15 seconds or to do more than our, my highest timer. Um, so why, why do 28? Why are there 28 of them? And the reason is this. If you do a lot of surfing, um, which I did in the very beginning when I started out, um, if you, let's say you're just surfing, you know, five traffic exchanges, and you, because um, as long as you're not waiting for the timer, you can do five, okay? Um, if that's how many it takes, takes to... Um, to not have to wait on the timer. You can do five, okay? But the problem is if you do five every single day, the traffic can, exchange can only deliver so many hits to your website, okay? There's a bunch of other people in there. So what will happen is you'll build up a bunch of credits that if you're surfing every day, literally will never be used. So what do, what do I mean by that? If you are surfing, if you're earning 200 credits a day, Okay, 200 views of your website a day, okay? And the traffic exchange can only deliver 100 of your website, views of your website. That means every day when you come in, there's another 100 going into a bank account that will never be used. Now, if you're one of those people that likes to travel, um, there is some benefit to that in that you're you know, like you don't want to do it every day, there's the benefit of being able to know that your site is going to be, is continuing to be viewed even though you're not working because you have those credits for that. For example, I had a member who went on vacation for like five days and, but he was still contacting us through messengers. Like, I got another sign up, even though he's not surfing. Why? Because he had credits built up in his account. So, there's a limit. You you want to have that for that particular purpose, but you don't want to, you know, let it be ridiculous. Another thing is it, it would be like if you had the opportunity to advertise on one TV channel, okay, um, versus five TV channels, what would give you better results? So that's another reason. The more places you advertise or advertise, the better you have. So if you're surfing a lot, um, then you want to have more traffic exchanges. It's just that simple. Okay. Um, so that you're not, so you might say, okay, I've got five hours to surf and I've got 25, um, 25 traffic exchanges. So I'm going to surf five, um, for an hour and then I'm going to surf another five for an hour and I'm going to surf another five for an hour and then I'm going to surf another five for an hour. So that, those are the reasons, those are the, the, the things to keep in mind. This absolutely does work. It always has worked if you do it right. If you don't listen to what I'm telling you and you just 
do it your own way or you listen to somebody who's claiming to be an expert, it's probably not going to work for you. This works for everybody that I've ever trained on it that actually did it, okay? And those it doesn't work for simply are not following the directions. So, um, and why... Another thing about this, when you're in some, when you're in, when you're in a business, when you're in MLM or direct sales or, you know, like the, the free programs that I showed you earlier, you can talk to your family, friends, and relatives, but it's harder. Okay. Your family, friends, and relatives are less likely to sign up under you in a business than a complete stranger. So while you can go out and belly to belly market is what they, what they call it, this is much easier. And let's say, for example, you're not, let's say you're poor, okay? Because um, some people are really, really poor. How are you, and you've got raggedy clothes and a bad haircut. You haven't had a haircut in two years because you're really poor. You know, that kind of thing. People will judge you. People will always judge you if they can see you. That's why the internet is the great equalizer. Because they can't see you. So, um... You, you, they, they can't see you, so they can't judge you. So, um, and like I said, a stranger is more likely to sign up under you from your business than your own family, friends, and relatives. So, and these are people who are already in this industry. If you try to talk to your family, friends, and relatives, you would have to explain to them how exactly you can make money from a free program. And most of them are never going to get it. Even if you're in an MLM, you have to explain to them why they need their own business. Most of them are never going to get it. Okay? Um, most of them are going to say things like, well, when you start making money, I'll join. They won't. They won't. Even when you start making tons of money, they won't. It's just an excuse. But, <clears throat> and if that's the case, how are you ever going to make money? Because everybody's just waiting for you to make money. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's just best to go out and market people you don't know. And this is your target audience because everybody that sees what you're doing in here, um, they're all marketers. They're professional marketers who work their businesses. Otherwise, they can't see your app. Okay? It's somebody in there promoting something. And that's your target audience. Those are the kind of people you want. Versus somebody on Facebook who might see your ad and go, well, that sounds cool. Sign up and do absolutely nothing, which is what most people will do. So um, that's how you use traffic exchanges. They're very, very effective. When I came online um, and decided that I was going to do marketing, I came on for a different reason from a computer expert. But I decided to do marketing online because I was really intrigued about the difference between online marketing and, and regular marketing. I'm very passionate about MLM and its ability to change people's lives. When I first came online, I didn't know anything. So I'm like most of you, nothing, knew nothing. And so I had to figure out, you know, what to do. And I had to dig through all of the BS of all the millions of people out there telling me, you have to do this, you have to do that. And the vast majority, or I'm making all this money in this, or you can get rich in this, and the vast majority was nothing but flat-out lies. I was very, very fortunate to be able to see that very early on through different events that, that happened. I was very blessed to, to, to be able to see that. Some people, it takes them, it takes the average person five years and $10,000 before they ever start to make money because it takes them that long to learn the lessons like there are no get-rich-quick programs, to learn that most people are full of crap, to learn these these things that, that and, and to learn what works and what doesn't work. You could spend 25 years online doing a bunch of stuff that doesn't work um, and just be really busy, like work a full-time job and not have any success at all. So, um, so when I came online... It took me about two months to figure everything out, but I was working it really, really hard, okay? I'm talking about I was working it more than I would work a job, 
because I was I was very determined to do it, so it's to learn and that sort of thing. <coughs> I had to learn that all the gurus out there are full of crap and are just trying to scam you out of some money and some program. Um, that was an important lesson to learn. But by the time I hit my sixth month of doing this, I was making, I had several programs that I was making money in, and the, the, um, the, uh, the one that I made the most from was $5,000 a month. So I went from zero and knowing nothing to $5,000 a month in just one program. Another one I was making like close to $3,000. And, um, so, but, how was I doing it? I was working 12 to 14 hours a day doing it. Okay? So what does that mean? Does it mean you need to work 12 to 14 hours a day? No. It means you can work however long you want. And that means, so for example, if you work half as many hours as I did, then it will take you twice as much, twice as long to do to get where I was. Okay? Another thing is it's very, very important for you to believe that you can be successful. I'm telling you, this is this is just a flat-out fact. You cannot be successful if you believe you can. If you're like, oh, I'll try it, just don't, okay? Just don't, because you won't be successful. You have to believe that you will be. And there's tons of people online who are, so there's no reason you can't. But if you believe you can't, then, then don't even bother because you because you can, okay. But if you believe you can, even if you know nothing, just like I did, you will, okay. It's just that simple thing. It's not that everybody has so much more experience than you because I had no experience, okay. I had no experience, and and it, as a matter of fact, there's a thing called heavy hitter. A heavy hitter means somebody can personally sponsor 100 people into a paid program. At that time, I had over I had over um, a thousand people personally sponsored people in programs, and I reached 300,000 people. Okay, and remember, and that was probably within the first year, and I knew nothing. Okay, so. Don't believe that it's about experience or talent or some kind of special luck. It's simply that you believe and see I did. I believe. And so that's the, 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 the key thing to remember. Okay, I think I've pretty much um, covered everything. Again, if you can, you know, get something, stay away from the occult stuff. That'll take you down a really bad, ugly path. But if you can, like, get, like, you know, listen to Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's a really, really good book. Or just whatever you can find. Um, just any novels and stuff on YouTube that you can listen to while you surf. Or what I did was I watched, I don't watch TV anymore, but at the time I did. I would just sit in front of the TV with the laptop in my lap and my kids playing at my feet and just click, 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 click. So um, anything to... to like I said, you don't need to pay attention. To this. Our minds are much more advanced than that. Um, and like I said, it works very, very well. There's a lot of things that people tell you, safeless and all this other stuff. To me, those things, while they work, they're not worth. They're not worth the time that it takes. When you, it's like, well, if I I could spend this time sending out letters to to safeless, or I could spend this time safe surfing. With that same amount of time, I could do more. With so, and then of course, if you use like the program that I showed you and you get up, you're promoting that, for example, okay, um, then you will have a whole bunch of other people that you earn credit for. So, and they all vary in how much you earn. Um, so you earn a percentage of their credits that go for whatever you want to advertise. And this is a really important thing to note is let's say that you're in some, let's say that you're selling Avon, okay? And that's your MLM company, and you sign some people up, and they join these traffic exchanges, and they start advertising, okay? And then they decide, you know what, I don't want to do Avon anymore. And they go advertise something else. Now, you're not earning anything from then on off of them 
from Avon, okay? But you continue to earn advertising off of them because whatever it is that they're in, they still need to advertise. And you get credit from that that you can use to advertise your business. And like I said, you know, once you build a downline, you don't need to. I, I, I stopped surfing six months after I started because I just didn't need to. Now, so, and as you see, I didn't even remember how to use half of these things. <laughs> I didn't remember, you know, I couldn't click, 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 where is it, you know what I'm saying, because I don't need to. And I do, from time to time, every couple of years, go in and prove that it still works, because people will tell me, oh, it doesn't work. So I'm like, okay, let me go into you and prove that it works. And so, um, so I do do it about that much. And sometimes I have to log in and... and go assign credits and that, that that kind of thing. But I don't need to actually serve. So it's just like this one thing, thing. You work really hard in the beginning, then you don't need to work anymore, especially in the free programs that are in our program. Because there is no buying anything. If you're in an MLM company, for example, you have to keep selling. Okay, If you want to make more money, you have to keep selling. If you want to keep making money, you have to keep selling. And you have to keep your people motivated and inspired or they could stop paying that so most people in the world today are on a really really tight budget so if they're not excited about the program they might go you know i'm not going to pay for that anymore but since they're not paying for any of those programs there is no reason for them to quit we're in an mlm if they stop paying they're no longer in your downline for these other ones you know you work and build it in the beginning and build a downline. What you're looking for in these pro free programs is you're looking for 10 people who will go out and get 10 people. If they get three, you'll still, if you if you get 10 and they get three and three and three and three and three, you'll still make more money than the vast majority of people um, in the world today, literally, okay? But if you get 10 who get 10 who get 10, well, you make money a lot faster and it's a wimpy goal to do less than that, I think. Okay? So once you do that, once you get your 10, and and not just 10 people, because like I said, people will sign up and do nothing, but 10 people like you, 10 people who re are willing to work to change their lives, meaning 10 people who will get 10, right? Then that's all you need to do. And from here on out, you don't need to do anything. And like I said, if you've built your downline in these traffic exchanges, you're down, you'll keep getting referrals even though you're not even doing anything anymore because you've got all these credits that's advertising your website. All right, so hope that helps. Have a great day.